Old chair. Not that old, actually. I bought this, I don't know, six years ago. It wasn't that long after I moved here, okay? Um, before that, I had a leather recliner chair, and I said I wouldn't have leather again because it got too hot and sticky in the summer. And then I got this piece of shit right here, and of course it gets filthy. You know, it gets filthy. Anything made out of cloth that you're sitting on gets filthy. So, I replaced this with another leather <laughs> recliner. And I'm, I'm the leather boy now, okay? No more cloth. Anyway, so the thing about this one is, is that it reclines uh, electrically. There's a motor inside here. The reason why I saved this is that I was thinking maybe two, two things, anyway. I could strip the motor out and lead screw, which is a interesting thing, and use it for something maybe interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Or, or I could um, strip off all this shit right here and build something like a wooden frame on top of it. So make it a fully wooden frame, like hardwood, real solid hardwood, and then, you know, put cushions on there. So I would have a decent chair, a decent reclining chair, rather than this piece of junk right here. Because not only did it start to get dirty, it started to fall apart because it's made from, you know, the cheapest plywood available and stapled together, no glue or anything, like a thousand staples driven into each joint. And um, I repaired it. On this side over here, I think. I'm pretty sure. But I had to tear apart the upholstery to get at it. So so that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to strip off the the um, the stuff that's on here. But first, I'm going to show you how it works. All right, so it's got this fairly heavy-duty power supply here. And that plugs in. And then there's two buttons over here that raise or lower it. You can see the way that works. All right, so I don't know how much of this is practical to show. I'm just going to get started on it and uh, let's see what I'm up against. Okay, the sides, it looks like they have to be separate. Uh, that means they would be fastened to this base section down here. Oh, this is OSB. I forgot that. Yeah, this is OSB in the front and back. <laughs> Nothing but the highest quality material here, man. <laughs> ceiling <laughs> ah. Let's start cutting material and wrapper bottle cap ah. Yeah, this is like cutting apart chicken there we go. Look at that. That's the wing. Yeah, come on. I mean, OSB, really? Okay, I think I can see where this mechanism is actually attached to this wooden, uh, so-called wooden frame. That's one screw broken off here. In all fairness, though, I have to say that this thing was only $400, so what are you going to get for $400 these days that's going to be any good? Especially uh, something like this. Not a lot, okay? Oh. That should do it, I think. Other than the wiring that controls the motor. Since I haven't determined what exactly I'm going to do with this yet, I'm going to try to keep the wiring intact just in case I want to, you know, rebuild this. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. Should I make a new chair from this? I mean, 
like Oscar Goldman, we have the technology. We can rebuild it. <clears throat> Aha. Hang on, maybe I can take the plate. You know, why take that and cut it up when you might be able to reuse it? There you go. See that? Okay, so that separates this shit over here from it, I think. Uh, there's one more. And that's it. So this goes in the dump and the rest stays. So I have it plugged in again, and here's my switches. Uh, you can see how it works, which I think is, is cool. So I'm thinking as much of, like, if I can leave this as naked as possible, if I could build a chair around this, but keep as much of this as exposed as I possibly can, that would really look neat. You motherfucker! Stand up, you drunken prick! <laughs> ha 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 ha!